My name's uh, Brian Money. Uh, last name is actually M-O-N-E-Y, and I am 54. I'm a police detective. I've been a police officer now since about 1993, 94, when I started as a reserve. I had to take a physical uh, to get the position of reserve police officer initially, and within about a year, I became I went full time. But uh, I started off my career with high blood pressure and was given a uh, blood pressure medication uh, with the uh, doctor's office that would eventually become Lifestyle uh, Medical Solutions. As you can imagine, uh, uh, being a police officer in a pretty busy city, uh, uh, it, it took some, uh, it took a toll on my health, uh, specifically blood pressure, um, uh, how I was eating. Uh, a lot of times we're doing shift work and we're only able to get food when we can if, if we have a very busy shift. And, and unfortunately, it's easier at times just to uh, stop off at a fast food place and get a burrito and a Coke. Um, so that started happening. Um, and then I kind of carried those habits with me as time went on. So like I said, I actually started off my police career with uh, a uh, blood pressure med, uh, started gaining weight, was eating badly, stress, uh, pretty good amounts of stress in the job, and uh, eventually uh, was had several different blood pressure meds added as well as uh, uh, some lipid uh, medications, and eventually even diabetes medications were added. Doing what I did for a living, um, I've been very active in martial arts, specifically judo, since I was five years old. Uh, I actually run uh, the nation's largest uh, judo club, um, and it's a police activities league. It's a service done through the community. We have about 340 kids. Uh, I power lifted competitively. Uh, it's something kind of fun and easy to get into uh, in, in the law enforcement field. Uh, along with that came eating a lot, especially as a power lifter. We ate everything in sight you know, just to keep the calorie intake going. And it made you very strong, but it also unfortunately made me very unhealthy. Uh, my my uh, body fat percentage, uh, uh, BMI, everything went up significantly. When things started getting really bad, it, 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 it there uh, in about... September, October of 2020, I think things were at their worst where I, I, like I said, I was on a bunch of different medications, um, three different medications for uh, diabetes, symptomology, uh, uh, one medication for uh, lipids, uh, I believe three medications for uh, um, blood pressure. Um, so Dr. Dysinger, uh, um basically suggested some meal uh, alternatives. Um, and I started sticking to that as of uh, October of 2020. And I stayed with it. I haven't deviated. I haven't cheated. Um, cheating to me now, uh, funny enough, is eating an extra apple or, uh, uh, you know, something healthy, a healthy alternative. It was certainly catered to me. And that that's one of the the things I really appreciated is that um, we all we all aren't the same. Everybody is a little bit different. Uh, with what I do for a living, unfortunately, I do need to retain um, a level of size and strength. Um, so, what was suggested to me was really almost absurd at first. Uh, Dr. Dysinger mentioned uh, breakfast, for example. Uh, I would always eat eggs and, you know, some form of meat, uh, you know, whether it be a, a T-bone steak or, or something like that. He said, try uh, beans. And that sounded weird. I go, beans for breakfast. That's, that's just odd. Uh, honestly, I started doing that. And every single morning um, for a year now, uh, I've eaten beans for breakfast along with... Um, it's a egg substitute, so it has all the cholesterol and such removed, um, a, a small side of fruit. That's just breakfast. 
Um, I usually have a 10 o'clock uh, snack. I pack my lunch every day for work. My wife makes it for me, which is really nice. Uh, lunch, or I mean the midday snack usually includes a small fruit cup with no sugar added. It's all natural fruit uh, with uh, veggie chips. Uh, so uh, basically like a dehydrated uh, vegetable of some sort, just to kind of give that crunchy uh, uh, sensation that, that we all crave. And then lunch, exclusively lunch every single day is a spinach salad. Um, maybe with very, very small bits of uh, chicken breast, uh, olives, um, uh, half of an avocado, uh, also beans, usually lentils, um, with a, uh, uh, a, a diet or uh, uh, low-fat balsamic vinaigrette. And then dinner is usually some sort of veggie, maybe a veggie pasta or um, something similar. Uh, but th th that's, those are my meals throughout the day now, almost every day. Uh, I, after I finish my meal, of course, I feel full. But there are times where I still get cravings and such. And I just have to know that when I do get a craving, you know, I'll do my best to, uh, uh, like I said, cheating to me now may be grabbing an extra apple, which... Uh, I think is certainly a better alternative than, than something, you know, a bag of chips, for example. I do drink a cup of coffee in the morning. I, that's something I've not been able to, to stop, but, uh, you know, I forego the, uh, the creamer. Um, but just drinking water all the time, uh, even the Diet Cokes and such were, were pretty rough on my body. Uh, I watched everything drop. Um, significantly. Uh, my A1Cs are now no longer anywhere near the diabetic range. Uh, my, um, the, my lipids are, are right where they're supposed to be. Uh, blood pressure is, is doing really, really good. Uh, um, everything's doing pretty good, so much so that I went from taking roughly I believe seven to eight medications every single day to taking a half of a blood pressure pill uh, every day. That's all I'm taking now is literally one half of a uh, of a the smallest dosage they make uh, blood pressure pill. So that's what I take every day now. What I've noticed is I could walk down the hallway. I could walk up a flight of stairs. Uh, even when I'm uh, training with my students and such, uh, you know, uh, on the judo mat, uh, my endurance levels are, are significantly higher now. Pretty much every day someone comes up to me and say, you know, comments on the weight I've lost uh, and how I look better and, you know, seem to have more energy, which is factual. It's worked out very, very well. I'm at a point now where I'm actually kind of maintaining a body weight and deciding whether I should uh, go down a little bit more or stay where I'm at. Um, it, uh, I've, I've lost a, a good amount of weight, roughly, gosh, probably about 60 plus pounds uh, uh, just in this past year. So I certainly am going to stick with this. I have, my decision is not so much stopping. My decision is whether or not I want to continue to lose a few more pounds or not. Um, as I said, unfortunately, in my line of work, I, can't, I, I don't feel that I could get too much smaller. If I do, it, uh, it could have, for me, I, I'm concerned that it could affect my strength. So uh, as long as my numbers are doing good and I'm, uh, I'm weaning off all the medications, I think we're on the right track. So I, I hope to at least maintain this if not uh, even uh, go a little deeper into it. I am absolutely positive I, I probably wouldn't uh, have survived. Um, and the reason I say that is I've, uh, with, with the COVID thing going on, certainly uh, the comorbidities uh, attributed to, uh, to diabetes, high blood pressure, high fat levels, all of those things. Um, have have really taken their toll. Um, COVID has taken its toll on folks like that. Uh, in fact, I believe that COVID prefers 
people in those conditions. So to remove myself from that category, for the most part, I think has been uh, uh, the best way to save my own life, I guess. And that's what I feel. I honestly, I felt as if I were to continue on the way I was feeling, um, I probably wouldn't have survived. And again, I lost friends uh, from the COVID uh, pandemic who were in situations just like me, good friends. Uh, Dr. Dysinger didn't just come to me one day and say, hey, Brian, I want you to do all this and, and, and work on your diet. Actually, he had said that to me before, but I didn't believe I could give up a hamburger or a Coke. For me, uh, correcting my diet was, okay, I'll have a lettuce wrap cheeseburger, uh, you know, without the bread, and I'll start drinking Diet Coke instead of regular Coke. And I, I did that. And unfortunately, it didn't really help. Uh, my numbers stayed the same. And in fact, as I got older, got worse. I would tell those people, just try it. Um, it's hard. Uh, you know, anything, uh, anything is hard that's worth doing. Um, but I actually look forward now uh, to eating my spinach salad, for example. Uh, I know that sounds weird maybe to people who are used to eating other foods. Um, it's, uh, there, there are sacrifices you have to make. You just have to, you have to push yourself and you have to try to change how you eat. Once you develop a habit, that's the biggest thing. Once you develop the habit of eating well, of drinking water, of uh, not overeating, especially not the bad things, it's, it's much easier. Uh, you take away all the, uh, the temptations. Uh, by the way, I haven't had sugar in a year, uh, none. And uh, that's pretty, for me, that's pretty remarkable because I, I was a complete chocolate addict as it were. But yeah, you have to develop a habit and it takes months to develop that. So you just have to stand fast and, and push yourself. If you're planning on doing something like this, talk to your doctor. For example, with Dr. Dysinger, um, I know that the goal of the plan, and eventually I'll get there, uh, the goal of the plan is to completely cut out meat products. That's something I wasn't able to do completely and totally. And Dr. Dysinger was very supportive of that. He said, well, a little bit of chicken breast on your salad, for example. Um, is is okay and i i lessen it less i i've cut down my meat consumption 95 percent easily so it, it's been significant and i've uh replaced it with beans and and uh uh lentils and such um i would just say instead of saying well i can't do that talk to your doctor and you and and make sure you guys can work something out a a plan or a method of how to do it. Okay, well, I tell you what, why don't we cut down your meat consumption one half for this month and see how that makes you feel. And then the next month, let's cut it down another 25%, see how you feel. And what that does, again, is it creates a habit. Uh, for me, uh, that's what it's done.